it's the type of bike that like you can kind of roll up anywhere you know what I mean? Bust out with your Honda friends, like, hey, Honda, it's good, reliable. You know, however Honda guys talk, you know what I mean? Hey, that's a, that's, a, that's a wise decision, son. You know? And then you could bust out with your Harley buddies or your Rat Rod buddies, and they'd be like, man, I bike it. Man, I bike it bad. That's a bad bike. What's up, guys? Do not forget to click that little button down below and subscribe. So you can see all of our awesome videos and all the new stuff that's happening at the SRK site. What's up guys, Sean here from SRKCycles.com and you will not believe who actually makes this bike. It is a beautiful rat rod style bike and it's actually a 2000 year and let's just jump on it. I'll tell you more about it and then I'll tell you actually uh, what company makes it. Um, this thing is sweet. It does have... See, it does have suspension, soft tail style. Um, that's nice and rigid on there. You probably couldn't put a girl on the back. There's no pegs. And I'm going to tell you everything I love about this bike and everything I hate about it. Let's do it. Alright guys, it is a beautiful day outside, and actually, I already did a test drive on this bike once, and I'm kind of hoping that I find my, um, my little test drive, uh, where's the wisdom, laying on the floor, laying on the ground, I'm going to stop, I'm going to pick it up, I'm going to bust it out for you guys. Alright, so this thing is a 2000, and I'm just going to give you the spoiler right now. It is a 2000 Honda VLX 600. This is how it started its life. It ended its life doing a, a small stint in jail, and getting into a lot of trouble, and then, um, and now, you know, through some good reform, uh, it became the you know productive member of society that it now currently is and it's actually a pretty sweet bike I love the styling of it I love this uh, I love the old classic rat rod look but it's a reliable fairly comfortable awesome looking motorcycle and I think that's like it's like the best of both worlds um, a bike that you can just hop on you really have to, like just change the oil that's it don't, you know, don't even change oil, who cares, it's fine. And it, it'll always run for you. It sounds good. It looks awesome. I would have loved, I would have loved to have had a bike like this. Alright, when I was a kid. Alright guys, there's no way I'm going to find that little that sticky note. Let's bust out John 316. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Guys, the verse that we did was so good. It was like Jeremiah 41, 1 or something like that. It was super good. Um, maybe I'll throw it in the end. So, this bike looks good. Sounds good. Runs good. I love these old classic bicycle 80s hand grips. I think it's a cool look. And you guys, you, for you guys saw from my other video, you know, the, the, the misconception is that 600 cc's is so small. You're like, it's so small. It's what I get for my baby fetus. My, uh, my blender's got a 750 cc motor in it. And I just make green shakes. But 600 is not small. And if you've ever ridden a moped with a 49cc bike and you're actually like rocking double with your girl in the back and you're going to like the port, you know, then you're like, you know, you're like, wow, 600cc is huge. I think this bike is great. Okay, but if you guys saw my other test drive video of me test driving the, um, the Silverwing, the 500cc touring bike, you know that... You know what? It's not the size. It's not the size of the motor. It's all about how you use it, guys. And I'm not gonna, I'm a little ashamed of this. 
but I was on the, I was doing a track day about two years ago and I'm not gonna lie I'm a pretty quick rider I ride in that middle category and I'm normally on the faster end of it and um, there's tons of guys faster than me but I found that out when I was passed by a KTM 390 on my 600 Super Sport and I was like wow it's not about the rider I mean, it's not about the bike it's all about the rider um, and uh, this thing is sweet it looks good classic like patina old look it's a type of bike that like you can kind of roll up anywhere you know what I mean bust out with your Honda friends You're like hey it's a Honda it's good reliable you know however Honda guys talk you know what I mean hey that's a that's a, that's a wise decision son you know and then you could bust out with your Harley buddies or your Rat Rod buddies and they'd be like man that bike is man that bike is bad that's a bad bike uh, that's my stereotypical uh, Harley guy. So I think it's got the best of both worlds. And it looks super cool. This bike has 8,000 miles on it. Which is not, it's not unusual. It runs good. It's got a mean sound to it. It's got Vance and Heinz pipes. It's jetted properly, and you know that because it doesn't backfire when you shift. It doesn't go brap, brap. I got dust in my eye. I can't see. All right, ever hold on. I'm good. All right. I don't know how these guys would know who ride with no helmets actually do it, because probably like every other ride I'm I'm doing, I drive through like a bunch of dust or a bug or something like that. And the best way to get relief is for me to shut my visor. Because then wind's not just pumping it in my face, in my eyeball. And then I can like clean it out. These dudes that I ride with no helmets. Nuts. Guys and nuts. Guys, it is a hot day. It is over 90 degrees. The, the weather report said heat wave. And uh one or i'm still riding two i'm still wearing all my gear the boots the doc martin boots the gloves and guys these are gardening gloves they're super heavy thick leather they're not like gardening gloves or like punch a bear gloves you know what i mean i got pants on i got my jacket on I got my helmet on. Guys, I'm protected. I'm ready. If something happens, I'm ready for it. I would rather be mildly inconvenienced. All right, let's hear it, guys. Oh, come on. You're like, hey. All these guys are like, but it's so hot. But Sean, it's too hot. I got to wear shorts and flip-flops because I'm an idiot. Listen. All right, how about grow up, be a man, if it's too hot, just don't ride your bike. Or put on some proper gear, like a grown-up. I'm gonna wear some gear. And you know what? Hey, forget this. It's not about safety. I couldn't care less. Safety for the sake of safety, who cares? It's safety for the sake of the person who is depending on me. Because I am not an island. If something happens to me, peep, it, it's gonna affect other people. All right, there's my rant. There's my uh, there's my gear rant. It's super hot, guys. It is a beautiful day outside. If it's too hot for you, if you're like it's too hot, I'm trailing my bike to the rally. That's super cool. I don't care. That's fine. Um, if your bike broke down, you got to transport or whatever. Guys, you got to use the same straps that we use when we transport all of our motorcycles. They're called tank straps. They're the bad. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you one thing I hate about this bike. Actually, I'm going to jump off and show you. Yeah. It, it should have been a spring seat. A spring seat would have been looked way better. I know you would have seen a little bit of electronics. It might not have been as clean looking. But a spring seat would feel so good. You know, you could have put like a little, a little like thing in here or something. Because it's kind of a little, 
I mean, it's not the worst. I've, I've written on worse, but it could be better. That's the thing I hate about the bike, but I still love it. The straps out there. I actually just got a pair of military straps that they use to transport the Humvees, and I think they use them to tie down the tanks. Um, I gotta confirm that. They did use them to tie down the uh, uh, military planes, and my straps are better. My straps are tougher, thicker, and have a, uh, a stronger webbing. All right, guys, that wraps up the test drive. Oh, uh, click on the link below. You can buy tank straps right there if you're looking to transport your bike. They work for all makes of models. All right, guys, that wraps up the test drive. Remember, this bike is sweet. Don't forget about that. But it's not what you're riding. But where are you going? We will see you guys later. We're pumping out videos every single day except for Sunday because I go to church and I hate with my family. I don't got time for that. Alright guys, we'll see you guys later.